Hello YouTubers, um, thought I'd do another open box uh, quick review on a uh, on a Baofeng two-way uh, radio VHF UFH. Uh, it's basically a uh, two meter 440 little handy talking ham radio. Um, looking at the front, it's uh, got, also got FM radio as well, as well as the two meter and uh, 70 centimeter basically in the ham worm is what they are. This is a UV5 RTP um, tri-power and it does one, four, and eight watts. Um, kind of open it up here. Uh, the, I, you know, um, these new Chinese little handy talkies, uh, they're not a Yezu or an ICOM or anything, but uh, I've been talking to a lot of guys and been pretty impressed with uh, the way they sound on air. And, uh, and I mean, price-wise, boy, they're uh, they're hard to beat. But anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. I actually ordered one that it actually comes with the program cable, which is what that will be, and that gives you the capability to uh, interface with some software and do all your uh, frequency settings in the radio. And I think it holds like a 128 channels. I think is what it said that it'll it'll handle. So this is definitely come in handy instead of a uh, hand typing them by hand on the radio. This one also came, of course. Here's the uh, main unit. If I can get it out of the plastic with one hand, hey, I can. Uh, there's the initial look at the little handy talkie. Yeah, a nice size. Fits the hand nice. Um, pretty look good size dis display. Um, standard buttons on the side. Looks like uh, it's got the monitor button to cut squelch for weak signals. But uh, I think it's called Bayo thing. I don't know, you know. These Chinese names, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce them, but anyway, there's what the initial looks like it was. It's got a protective cover over that, uh, on off there, and antenna connection, and it's even got a, looks like a LED light built in the top there. There's the radio. Here's the battery, which is a 17.4 uh, volt, or 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp battery. Uh, on a little radio like this, that should last quite a while. They also offered a, um, I think it was 24 or 3200, but there's an extended battery you can get for this as well to uh, extend it to even longer top time between charges. But I kind of went with the stock uh, 1800 milliamp. I think that'll that'll probably do for what is, you know, I, typically I use the little handy talkie during weathers and, uh, you know, situations like that or just when I'm out in the car. So it's kind of handy that way. This one also came with a hand mic hand speaker mic so uh this is nice you can strap the radio on your deal and then hook this up on your on your collar and use this to uh communicate it's, it's a if they call it a mic or it's a speaker mic hand hand control uh, we'll probably open that up by the package but anyway it comes with that um also comes with the little earpiece mic kind of like a older cell phones came with uh, here's the antenna, which is a dual band antenna. Uh, it also comes with the clip for the back of the radio so that you can hook that on so you can hook it on your belt. Uh, and it comes with the AC power supply, American, 120 volt. The AC adapter, which is a uh, 0.25 amp. Uh, what is the output? 10 volts, which should be good for charging the battery. And it also comes with a, hopefully you're seeing all this. Let me go and turn it down that way. It comes with a base charger, which is really like the idea of that. So you can just uh, set in that when you're not using and let it charge it. Looks like it also comes with a little lanyard to uh, hook to the radio. As well as a user manual. Which I imagine is probably Chinese English. China, China English. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's the unboxing. I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second. And go ahead and kind of get it battery put on and uh, an antenna set on it, and we'll take a look at it with it assembled. Okay, there it is with the uh, battery all backed up. Got it set on the little base with it charging. Um, got my little uh, mic speaker uh, or speaker mic hooked up. Initial uh, impressions: Wow, um, it's a lot of radio for. Uh, for the amount of money i think with shipping and everything through amazon i paid i believe it was 36 dollars and uh that's with the speaker mic and uh the program cable radio in the base i mean 
you can't beat it. And I didn't even know this, but uh, let me go ahead and turn it on for you. If you listen here, it actually even... Frequency mode. It even talks to you. So it's got a talk back as far as a, it tells you what mode you're stuff in in, a, in, in English. Uh, if you look at it here, you kind of see the display here. And I, it's actually got, you can have an orange, purple, or uh, blue background on it. Um, let's move around the frequencies. Let's kind of play a little bit there. Um, it's actually got an LED light on the top. As you can see, that's, that could come in handy. Even a little strobe. Um, initial uh, impressions. It's uh, actually pretty heavy in the hand. It feels like it's made out of a uh, cast aluminum, which is really surprising. Which I mean, dissipate the heat well. Uh, set it back in the base for charging. Like I said, it's got backlit. Actually, you can go in the menus, and I don't want to get too in depth in that, but you got squelch. Confirm. And you can go through the different modes here. Reset all. Roger beep. It's got messages. Peter on or off. I mean, I'm not sure what all these settings are right now. Just kind of running through it. Band select, tone. And there's your different light colors that you can set for not only receive but uh, transmit. You can have it switch colors on that. It'll it'll monitor it'll dual bands at the same time. And of course, there's your band select. Just have to get back to the VFO here. That light select. Anyway, that gives you an idea what the little. Uh, Bayfung, I guess, Bayofung, Bayofung, a uh, little ham radio handy talkie is. Uh, there's a little open box for it. Uh, I'll probably have a better review here later after I play with it a while, but I did take it out and uh, I hit the repeater. It's about 12 miles away, no problem at all on uh, on 3 watts, and it does 1, 3, and 8 watts, I believe. I did it on the middle power, so it uh, seems to be a, a, a very uh, viable little handy talkie for. Uh, the price i just did not see how you can go wrong anyway this is electron man i hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, open box review of the uh Baofeng uv5 rtp transceiver uh please if you think about it subscribe and have a good day this video was produced by me the electron man and hey if you get a chance subscribe it helps me out and have a good day